this is the video you've been waiting for because some of you have been very very eagle-eyed over the last few videos I've done and spotted a new desktop PC sitting behind me here and um, it's been an exciting journey it's been so cool actually setting this up getting to grips with it uh, using it for some video editing already that I wanted to extend the performance of this and was looking at ways to upgrade and uh, make things a little bit faster now one of the ways I did that is to add some more memory and I'll talk to you about that in another video but the very exciting way that I added up some sorry I'll re rephrase that that I really increased the boot times of this uh, desktop PC was by adding a new solid state drive as the boot drive now it came pre-installed with 128 gig uh, solid state drive already in there this is what now resides inside the machine this is a Western Digital uh, Black it's their new high performance NVMe SSD and this promises uh, up to 3400 megabytes per second 3000 400 megabytes per second that is absolutely insane now the installation procedure for it going into the uh, HP Omen desktop was really straightforward just popping the side panel off uh, before I actually took the old one out I sort of cloned it across to the internal hard drive then I installed the Western Digital Black cloned the software back across so the Windows operating system and all of the apps that were or applications that were pre-installed and then I used a little utility to actually uh, join two non-adjacent partitions because this one obviously had a little bit more capacity this is the 500 gigabyte model and then once I'd done that so I had a continuous uh, amount of free space then I started getting testing this on boot times and also on uh, actual performance or read and write speeds now the boot times uh, on this was pretty fast anyway but they decreased by about one and a half to two seconds so definitely a faster boot time the write performance on this I'm getting very very good performance and the reads are very very near to their 3400 uh, megabytes per second quoted speed now I do want to show you if I can on this screen I'm sure I've got it on here somewhere let's just add this in I've got something I want to show you just a close up of the Western Digital Black and uh, I obviously can't show you it very easily inside the machine but let me just show you it actually before I installed it here we go so this is obviously the product packaging which you've already seen these drives are so small they're so so small and compact nowadays I think my main concern with it was purely due to my lack of experience with Windows really was cloning the software across I'm so used to doing this on the Mac operating system uh, on Windows it's a little bit different uh, but still perfectly possible and ever since I installed this things have been running very very smoothly indeed uh, so it's been a very very nice upgrade and I'm certainly uh, really impressed with the uh, boot performance and, and the read write performance as well but mainly the booting of the system and I'll tell you why the, the booting times and the stability of the system is very very important for me is because I really want to use this for video production and I've been living within this Apple ecosystem for so many years now uh, because of my fear of stability of Windows 10 uh, but I've had this for probably coming up for a month now uh, some of you would have spotted it that long ago if you'd have watched very carefully in the background of the videos and uh, it hasn't crashed once touch wood it's been a very very stable system I'll talk to you a little bit more about the desktop PC in a short while but let's take a look inside the live chat a big thank you to all of you for tuning in live I really do appreciate it uh, shout out to Patrick Sullivan Radio Cruncher Paul Laker and also Paul Hibbard thank you very much for tuning in live I really do appreciate it got any questions or comments at all pop them in the live chat 
if you are watching this after the live event then of course you can use the regular comment section for any questions or comments and also if you're new to the Geek and Noise channel then please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I'm either broadcasting live or when I upload a video. So back to the live chat, I saw a um, question here. Paul Hibbard, is he in his loft? Paul, I'm not in my loft, I am actually in my editing room. Uh, all of this part here, this is a lowered ceiling just here, this is like the roof line, uh, but all of this is like uh, acoustic foam. Uh, just to help with the audio reproduction in the editing room. I do quite a lot of live broadcasts and also a lot of voiceovers as well, so that helps with the audio. Uh, Radio Cruncher, by the way, I made 1,000 subs and I'm now monetized again at last, so thanks for your support. That is awesome, awesome news. Congratulations on uh, reaching the 1,000 subs and getting monetized again. That is brilliant. That's dedication. I'm really pleased for you absolutely awesome now anyway we've also got um, Radio Crunch saying <laughs> I thought when I saw the title that it was the new type of WD-40 not quite this is uh, a much better performer than WD-40 put it that way so just back to my closing thoughts on um, the Western Digital Black I think it's a really very very high performing NVMe SSD it's a M.2 SATA drive super easy to install and a really great read and write performance and it's improved the boot times of this uh, HP Omen desktop PC. Just a little bit, I promised to talk a little bit more about the desktop PC. So this is a Core i5. Um, it's got a GTX 10, I think it's a 1050 inside. Uh, it's like one of their mid-range desktop PCs. The IO is really good. It's got plenty of ports down the side here, including a card reader on the side. It's also got these nice um, bays you can open up these flaps at the top and pretty sure if I just pull this out oh, you have to slide this down first these pull out whilst the system's on and I can actually use this for testing other drives so if other manufacturers want to want to send me in sort of solid state drives hard drives etc so I can test the performance I can do that without even opening up the system I really do like that and it's just a simple matter of sliding those back in and locking it down into place really like the design of this love the fact that it's not too shouty you can tell it's a gaming PC because of the red LEDs uh, but for the most part I think it's just a quite a, a, a nice design PC or desktop case uh, I've been using this as well Microsoft Surface mouse and also if I just reach over here I've been using the Microsoft Surface keyboard with it so far uh, it didn't come with any uh, keyboard keyboard and mouse that didn't bother me anyway because I test plenty of gaming keyboards and gaming mice on the channel and it's just overall just a really nice desktop PC not too loud either the fans and the acoustics in it are pretty good as well so anyway let's take one last look inside the live chat uh, Ayush Pandey says is USB type C 3.0 have the same transfer speeds as USB type A 3.0 uh, yes, they will do, uh, but I'm pretty sure uh, USB-C, uh, the earliest version of USB-C, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this is my understanding of it, is the earliest version of USB Type-C is 3.1. I might be wrong on that, but I think it's 3.1. And then you've got Gen 1, Generation 1, which is 5 gigabits per second, and Gen 2, which is up to 10 gigabits per second. That's the difference between the different generations. Uh, we've also got Tnetro P. How about a Topra keyboard review in the future? That would be awesome. If Topra reach out to me and want to send in something to review, I'd be more than happy to take a look at it. So anyway, that is it for this video. If you're looking for a really good upgrade for either a desktop PC, or indeed this is a M.2 very, very small flash drive, very, very small SSD, then the Western Digital Black is a really good option. This will fit in not only a desktop, of course, but also in a laptop or an Ultrabook. If your laptop or Ultrabook uses M.2, then this is possibly an option for a future upgrade for you as well. I've left a link down below to the Western Digital website and also where you can pick this up for yourself. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please do hit like on this video and don't forget to subscribe.
I'll see you all in another video very soon.